Hi everyone, welcome to Dundas Dashboard How To Videos. This video is on how to install the image creation service. It will demonstrate the steps needed to successfully install the image creation service so you can share or send any dashboard as an image. By default, you can share your dashboard by using its URL. If you want to share it as an image, you need to install the image creation service. The image creation service can be installed on the same server where you install your Dundas dashboard or on a separate server computer. In this particular demo, I will be installing the image creation service on the same server where my Dundas dashboard is. First, let's launch the deployment center, which is usually located in all programs Dundas data visualization, Dundas deployment center, and click on it. Once you are in the Dundas Dashboard Deployment Center, click on Extra. Then click on Install a new Dundas Dashboard Image Creation Service instance. Before installing the Image Creation Service, the system will check for the installation prerequisites. If you're missing any of the prerequisites, please go ahead and install them and rerun the Deployment Center. Once all of the checks are passed, click Next. After reading the license agreement, check that I accept the terms in the license agreement and click Next. The user configuration screen allows you to select the type of user you want to use for the image creation service. For this tutorial, I'll be creating a new account, but you can definitely select an existing account with admin privileges. I will call my user image user. and add a password for it. Click Next. Select your link method. I'll be using Select a Dundas Dashboard instance on this machine. But you can select manually Enter your Dundas details. Either way, you have to point to a Dundas Dashboard instance where the image creation service will be deployed. Select your instance and click Next. In this section, you can modify your destination folder, but I would strongly recommend to leave it as it is and click Next. Select an available port. I'll be using 9000. Click Next. Check your installation details, and if you are satisfied, you can go ahead and click Install. Once your installation is completed, you can click on Finish and check the installation summary. Great. Click Finish. Now the final step is to restart your Dundas Dashboard website. To do this, go to your IIS Manager and look for your website instance. Select it and click on the Restart button. Now go to your website and check if your installation is in fact working. The easiest way to do this is to log in, open any dashboard and click on the Share button. As you can see now, you're able to share the, your dashboard as an image. Let's go ahead and share it. Give it a name. And let's add a timestamp to the generated image. As you can see, we have successfully shared our dashboard as an image with a timestamp. For more information on what we discuss in this video can be found on our support site, support.dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us via email or by phone which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching again and stay tuned for upcoming videos.